All righty, what's up, fight fans? This is Harrison with BW Sports One and SICP. This weekend, we have SICP5 Mayhem going down Saturday, May 4th, at the Old National Events Plaza. Here with me today, I have one of the fighters that's actually making his MMA debut, Stacy Winters. Stacy's a local fighter here that trains out of nice guys. So, Stacy. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, the experience you have so far with training a at Nice Guys? Bro, it's been it's been all over the place. But I would say like the best possible manner, man. It's uh it's been something I initially I kind of got in a fight in to kind of just you know life really wasn't going where I wanted it to go, man. I really didn't know what I wanted to do. Didn't kind of know who I was as a person. Like Jacob. Uh, who's one of the guys from the gym kind of came in when I was working at AT&T and he was like, you know, I do jujitsu and stuff like that. He struck up a conversation and he kind of mentioned nice guys. Uh, so I started trying to train in there last year in March of 2023. And initially I was like, man, let me just try it out, see if I like it. And then of course you go to that trial class, you're fucking hooked. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's like, you know, ever since then, I'm like, hmm, maybe, you know, something I want to do. And then, you know, you get guys in the gym that kind of encourage you like, Hey man, you could be, you could be something good, you know? guys like Aaron Riley or guys like Robbie D or, you know, guys like Jesse Ray and guys like Dave. And, you know, eventually you're like, man, I, I do kind of love this. So, man, it's been great. It's been just the biggest thing for me is just trying to enjoy this journey because I know like a lot of people, including myself, will just overlook the stuff and be like, man, like if I, if, if I can get super good at this, I could be here, here and here. I bet. But for me, I know if I stay like present, you know, everything will be kind of good, man. So I just kind of just trying to enjoy this journey but it's been it's been pretty smooth man it's just a dog pound though for sure you know what i mean this gym is full of sharks so you know you got to be prepared to bring the lunch every day but it's been great man i can't i can't complain sorry to yeah. give you like an over a, a super long response but yeah. no you're good man that was perfect and i mean well that also kind of leads in uh to my next question so i know you have one kickboxing fight already uh yeah. going into your mma debut yeah. um and we're talking about the experience at nice guys and you have three uh, other fighters who you know do have experience with multiple fights yeah. with this camp with you uh how has that been beneficial to you getting prepared for your debut i would it man it's everything you know save on canto i would actually extend upon the three you know i would say it's, it's been a little bit more for me than just save on canto george reed and zane haver man i would say it extends to you know guys like zane miller you know what I mean? Guys like uh, Nate Manos, just being able to get those type of looks with those guys, um, being able to get sparred in with guys like Josh Shockman, being able to get sparred in with guys like Aaron Riley. It just lets you know. Um, it rings kind of true to what my coach Dave told me. When I first started, Dave was like, man, if you want to fight, just understand that by the time you get to your MMA debut, you're going to be ready. Uh, and when I look at like the plethora of amazing high level training partners that I've had to be able to kind of build my skill over the course of a year, I would say that they are solely the biggest reason that i've been able to lead and evolve and get somewhat as good as i as, as i've been able to been uh as i've been able to get um obviously i feel like there's a whole lot more room to grow but i always feel like i'm my toughest critic so you know it's always gonna be my mindset but yeah i, I would attribute all of my success to Savon and zane and miller and, and george and all those guys man you know when you're training like i said when you're training with sharks kind of going back to that first response at the end yeah you're training with a plethora of sharks man you got no choice but to either sink or swim so um, yeah, I would attribute all of those and jujitsu and just my, my MMA striking, my kickboxing striking. Um, but yeah, man, all of them for sure. And I mean, you said you're training with Nate Manus too. I mean, you know, Nate Manus is in the UFC, so he's yeah. at the, pretty much the top of the yeah. sport. So, I mean, how do you feel training with him, you know, knowing that he's, he's reached the top of the sport and you're just starting your journey? It's a great measuring stick, you know what I mean? Because when you've got a guy that's reached the pinnacle of the sport, I would I would kind of you know harken back to Riley a little bit like, and Shockman. I'll, I'll put those three in the mix. Yeah, you know, yeah, all three. Yeah. When you've had those guys that have been in the mix, they've been at the highest level, and they're kind of in your ear giving you genuine advice. You know, blunt advice at times, but also words of encouragement. You kind of understand how far you have to go and exactly where you're at. So at that point, it's just kind of on you to 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 make those calculated decisions on what you can do to kind of grow and, and be the better athlete and martial artist. Um, but I would say just having those three, like that lets me know where I need to grow, uh, where I'm at. And it, it gives you a lot of confidence kind of going into a bout like this, this, this coming Saturday, man. You know, I know, you know, with all due respect, man, this guy Cole, Cole cut forth. Um, I respect him as an opponent. I respect um, the fact that he's a, he's a great fighter as well. And he's coming in and giving his all, man. But I just take a lot of pride in knowing the fact that I, 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 I'm going to say it, man, I got better training parts, you know, and I'll be able to take that, that mental nugget in the back of my head coming into this fight. So. 
Um, yeah, yeah. That's kind of gotcha, what gotcha. That. Yeah. So, I mean, with all this experience you have, you know, backing you going into this fight, and like you said, all all due respect to Cole Cutforth. What do you think? What's your prediction for how this fight's going to play out, or at least how would you like to see it? You know, without revealing too much of your yeah. game plan, of course. No, hundred percent. Um, so obviously we got a, we got a certain game plan in mind. We don't we don't want to give away too much, but yeah. Um, I just truly believe in my cardio and and, and the abilities that I have in in comparison to his. You know, it's not that I don't respect his skills and ability, but I feel like man, if you're going to be in this game, you have to feel like your skills are superior to anybody that you step in there with. And I just truly feel that my skills are far superior to his and my grappling, my jujitsu. Um, and I just believe that me mixing it up in the manner that I'm going to mix it up um, is just going to give him too much. You know, it's going to give him too much to think about. Um, and even if it doesn't, if it goes through the decision, I know that no one's going to outdog me, man. I know no one's going to out-cardio me. Um, I know that if it's a battle of who wants it more, it's going to be me. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah. you know, if you feel some type of way, we, we've got our chance to prove that on Saturday, man. But I, I, I kind of take that, you know, with my confidence building, man. That's the biggest thing for me, knowing I'm in the dog pound, knowing Dave is killing me, knowing my cardio is right where it needs to be at. So, yeah. You know, uh, that's that's probably the plan. Ideally, I would like to get a finish. You know, who doesn't want to step in there and get a yeah. finish? Yeah, especially you know, when you get a finish, it's probably all Jermaine Sterling or something, man. Like, um, but I definitely looking for second round TKO if I can't, third round TKO. Um, but obviously, getting getting my hand raised is the biggest thing. I'm, I'm willing to do any and everything to, to make sure I get my hand raised at the end of the night. So, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, you know, I'm I'm going to be cage side, so I'll be excited to watch your debut too. Um, that's I mean, that's really all the questions I have for you. Um, I mean, you did uh, you did shout out a lot of your teammates and nice guys, uh, but now you got another opportunity uh, if you want to shout out uh, anybody else you might have forgot or any of your sponsors. Yeah, hundred um, percent. I mean, as far as sponsors go, we'll kind of keep it light. Scott Reed's always a, always a big guy with the Wind Supply family, um, and it's kind of hilarious, man. I work at General Rubber and Plastics, but he's always really good about not really caring, even though we're competitors. Uh, yeah. Technically. Um, he's great. But other than my teammates, other than my coaches, just want to thank them all for just getting me as ready as they possibly could get me ready for my MMA debut. And, um, yeah, just kind of ready to roll, man. I hope I don't take up too much of your time, Harrison. I know you're a busy dude, but I'm just ready to go, man. At this point, it's like all the talking kind of, kind of, kind of past that. I'm just ready to get in, get in that cage and get going, man. So, yeah, I mean, uh, you sign like you have everything lined up. Mm -hmm camp's gone good you just got to get through fight week and step in the cage and you're ready to Absolutely. go man yes sir blood work's done physical's done hard uh, hard lives day at camp go get a haircut make sure we're not looking super rough and ugly <laughs> to fight. gotta look fresh for the debut yes sir bro got gotta be fresh man look good feel good feel good fight good type of thing so i'm, I'm on my Deion sanders with, with that <laughs> <laughs> all right i love to hear that man well everybody watching don't forget, SICP5 Mayhem goes down this Saturday, May 4th, at the Old National Events Plaza. Stacy here is going to be making his debut. So if you want to tune in, make sure you buy the pay-per-view. Or, preferably, if you want to come watch them in person, buy a ticket because they're still available. Stacy, thank you for your time today, brother. Yes, I'll see you this weekend. Good luck. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for the interview. Thank you so much. Hey, tell Gage I said appreciate him. Tell him I said sorry too, man, because I know you wanted to interview this Saturday. I do apologize. Man, you guys have been awesome. Thank you for your patience, man. I can't wait to go put on a good show and announce myself to the world for you guys. So thank you, man. Hey, no problem, brother. And like I said, we love to hear it. We love to hear that you're, you know, going to put on a show. Keep coming back. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, dude. You be smooth, right. man. Peace. SICP 5 Mayhem, Saturday, May 4th, from the Old National Events Plaza, Evansville, Indiana. SICP, we, we just, just hit, hit Harvard. Harvard.